Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We are going to do a bonus May 2021 soulmate love reading. So we'll take a look at your headspace and energy and then whoever your love interest is, whether this is someone who you are currently in contact with or someone who is coming towards you. But we're going to look at it as person A, person B. So let's just take the side that resonates with you. Um, let's get into it. So for your headspace, we have the Princess of Cups. And your person headspace, we have the Temperance card. So for your headspace, I have an energy of you just kind of being like taken aback. This card, especially in this particular deck, it gives me like a surprise type of energy. So you could be getting some type of surprise communication. Um, this could be a surprise apology, a surprise gesture. Um, this could be someone... I'm doing something like maybe like kind of cute as well too is what I was getting this that kind of like surprises you and um, catches your attention and kind of catches you off guard with your um, love interest headspace we have the temperance card so I feel like this is someone who is it could be someone from the past coming to reconcile hence the prince of cups so this could be you getting um, I'm hearing a secret or a surprise apology from someone um, but even if you know this person or you don't, I feel like this is someone who's coming in the energy of peace with the temperance card. Temperance is ruled by Sagittarius. So maybe this person may have significant placements of Sagittarius in their birth chart, but this could be somebody just embodying an energy of wanting to, you know, be peaceful, be, um, harmonious, balanced. Or restore that into some type of situation where maybe there was um, imbalance in a previous situation if this is someone who you already know I do feel that whoever this person is they have some type of um, they're feeling um, enticed by you normally I don't get this from the temperance card but I am picking up like some um, sexual energy that this person may have towards you so I feel this person finds you very um, attractive they're very sexually interested in you but I think it could be like maybe low-key or very subtle that this person is trying to like um, keep this under wraps when it comes to you um, I feel like this person is just trying to come off m maybe they are just trying to come off in the energy of like temperance like like they're very well composed and that you know they have everything together but I do feel like this person has way much more um, interest and attraction to you than what they're let, letting be known, okay? Um, I feel there's something very divine about this person coming into your life. So this could be someone who's divinely orchestrated coming towards you, whether this is someone from a past or someone who is new coming towards you. I do feel a, a strong sense of divine orchestration going on here. For some of you, I'm picking up an energy that it definitely could be multiple people. So some of you may have people from the past and you may have new people coming towards you as well too. So this could be multiple people. Maybe this is why you're also in this energy of the Princess of Cups because you're so surprised that there's so many people that have interest in you that you never would have thought had interest in you because they're coming they've always been coming off as the temperance energy you know just trying to keep things very um cordial i just feel like this is a very cordial energy so i feel like for some of you you may be very surprised who is interested or who has um been watching you who's been paying attention to you who's um attracted to you now as far as how you're viewing this individual and how they're viewing you we have you viewing this person as the star card. The star card is number 17. So that simplifies to an eight. And then how this person is viewing you, we have number um, the eight of pentacles. So uh, both of you are seeing each other as eights. Um, eights for me can be karmic, right? They can be karmic. Um, so this could be someone who you may have some type of karmic connection with um and that doesn't have to be a bad thing um but it just means that you and this person were meant to come into each other's 
you know, lives to teach each other something or to receive something from each other or give something to the other. But um, with the eight being here as well, too, I feel like you're seeing this individual. Um, this could be someone who's popular. It could be someone who's well known. Um, um, I did pick up the energy of people pleaser. So for some of you, you're seeing this as someone who loves to be in good, the good graces of others. Um, they love for people to like them. This could be someone who is um, very charitable, um, a humanitarian, someone who's very kind, who's someone who's very nice. Um, now I'm hearing Aquarian energy, so this person could have very strong Aquarian energy. And this person seeing you with the Eight of Pentacles, I was picking up strength from this. So I feel this person sees you as you could be very um, hardworking. You could be very dedicated, devoted. Um, I'm hearing optimistic, but I feel like with the strength energy, there is something that this person feels like, like some type of quality or trait that you have within you that this person does not possess. So I, I feel this person admires you for your strength. Your strength of character is what I'm hearing. And you see this person as the star card. I was also picking up the energy of this could be someone who is also like a blessing in your life or like very strong wish fulfillment. So this could be someone who you've always envisioned yourself being with um, because it's an exact person that you've like had in your mind's eye that you would want to be with. Or this could be someone who just embodies all of the traits and characteristics of a person who is like perfect for you. So you could feel that this person is kind of almost heaven sent because we do have the temperance card representing them and now the star is how you're viewing them. So you could see this person as someone who is like heaven sent to you, okay? Um, I also was picking up the energy of this could be someone who you could see who's perfect for you to um, have children with. So this could be your perfect and ideal husband or perfect and ideal wife as well too. With the Eight of Pentacles, how this person is viewing you, I was picking up the energy that I'm hearing Master Crafter. So this person definitely sees that you're like you are a master of whatever that you do. Um, I also ha um, heard ambidex amber ambidextrous. So this person may see you as being ambidextrous, but I feel this person feels that you can work with lots of different materials or resources and make something out of nothing. This could be someone who sees that you, um, I heard, um, got it out the mud, like, so they could see you as someone who's, like, started from the bottom, and now um, you're in a position where, you know, you're doing very well for yourself. Maybe this is someone who's been paying attention to you since the start of your career and whatever you do, or they've been, like, following you um, and, and watching you progress and grow. So um, that could be something as well, too, how this person is seeing you, just seeing you continue to be like tenacious and um, be very persistent and driven to get results. Um, but I see this person seeing you as like whatever you do, that you're really good at what you do. You're really skilled um, or you, you're very talented. You could be very creative. Um, this person could also see you as being like multi-talented, um, having several different areas that you are really good at. Um, and going back to your side, I clarified it. How you're viewing this person, we have the Ten of Wands and the King of Wands. So I feel like for some of y'all, this is some person who you find very like um, beautiful or gorgeous. I feel like you feel this person is very attractive. And there's something about this person that makes you want to like lower your inhibitions as you can see she's kind of like naked right right she ready so <laughs> this could be someone who makes you want to like um let down your guard is what i'm saying like whatever burdens that you've had i feel like maybe you feel this person either can help you carry the load um either because this is something they give off or maybe this is um what they're actually like capable of doing like this is someone who's able to help you carry your burdens or release your burdens release you from some type of burdens um but i also see uh you seeing this person as being very like um sexy right um with this 
King of Wands energy, but this person is like, I feel like the King of Wands comes in and the King of Wands takes charge. So this could be someone who comes into your life, like I said, like a blessing, like, like an angel, like someone who's heaven sent and they just get to working and helping you to take care of whatever you need to take care of. I, I feel like this is, could be someone coming into your life. Um, this person could be very like um, leader. They could have a lot of leadership, strong leadership abilities and qualities about them. And they're very take charge. This could be someone who's, you know, um, like they're very strong with initiating things. So this could be someone coming into your life, maybe like at the right time and helping you to like get things in order or helping you to direct your life in some type of way. And since this could be someone who like helps restore your faith in maybe what you've always been hoping for in a partner or in this person, if this is someone you, you already have known, this is someone restoring your faith in like love is what I'm seeing um, with this star energy here. that was the other thing so I feel like this person you feel this person is very trust trustworthy like you feel that you can trust this person so if this is someone who comes back there's something about this person that you see in them that you know you can trust this person this go around and for others of you if this is someone new then there's something about this person energetically like you just know that you can trust this person so some of you may have had trust issues before um with this person or just in life from previous experiences but whoever this is there's something about them that they give off that you know that you can trust this person as far as how this person sees you we have the um, eight of pentacles being clarified by the queen of pentacles the three of wands and the seven of cups so I feel like this person is seeing you as, first and foremost, I feel this person thinks you're very attractive. I, I feel this person feels you're like very, um, like you you could be self-reliant, but you're very like self-assured. So this person can see you as having a lot of uh, high self-esteem and being very confident, not just in your like looks, but in like your character, how you carry yourself um, and like what you do for work as well too is what I'm seeing. So someone feels that you're very confident in your abilities, like I said, once again. Um, I also feel this person can see something like long-term with you. And this person feels that, I feel like this person feels like you have lots of options and that you would be a ideal type of perspective wife or husband for lots of people. So this person either knows you have a lot of suitors or this person just sees like your potential. This is someone who is seeing your potential and knows that a lot of people would see you as someone who they would want to be in a long-term relationship with. So I feel this person is um, aware of that. They're aware of your your ability to be devoted and committed and stable and I feel they see this about you because of your work ethic but this is also this is something that this person senses as well too I feel this person is looking at you in long term they're able to see in the long term that they could see themselves being with you as well too I'm hearing down the line this person could see themselves being with you like settling down with you so as far as what is blocking you um, between yourself and this individual you have the nine of swords and then they have the justice card okay so instantly what I'm seeing is for those of you where this is you know people coming back from the past I feel like um, what's blocking you is the fact that like in your mind you still are holding on to the past you're still seeing and um, realizing that there are things that you're holding on to 
and that this person has done to you that you don't really feel that you can wholeheartedly maybe open up to this person even though you feel or see maybe in some instances for some of you that this person may be changed okay or that this person is at least trying to um you know prove that they are different and that they want to have another opportunity with you have a fresh start have a fresh new beginning um, for others of you where this is someone new coming in towards you i feel that this person may either come with some type of baggage or they are still in a situation that they're not quite done with yet and they could um that could be putting some type of pressure on you for whatever reason um because i feel like in some instances if this is a new person i feel like this person may be in the process of like ending something because we have the nine of swords for you and then the ten i mean the um justice for them which means that something is very near completion um it just may not be maybe like finalized yet and clarifying it i do see the 10 down here as well too so there is something that is almost over and that could be maybe a stress or burden for something maybe for you to consider maybe they're asking you to just be patient and wait for them while they're going through something that they're needing to to work with or deal with so maybe it's almost a situation where maybe someone can't fully be a hundred percent invested or maybe as available as you need them to be given whatever circumstances they may be dealing with because for some of them this definitely could be a divorce that someone is going through um this could be a breakup but this also could just be another situation that someone is just you know finalizing some last details of wrapping a situation up that they need to wrap up but you know like i said this is causing you some type of stress considering this here um also what i was picking up for some of you because this could be multiple people coming towards you at once so this could be a little bit overwhelming the fact that like you have so many people who are interested in you even people who you never even maybe considered or never even thought like who would be interested in you um new people old people coming into your life so i feel like this is kind of like overwhelming you're kind of stressed out like getting all of this attention all at once and all of a sudden i also feel like this could be several people who want to like um have significant relationships with you um i'm getting like people want to like lock you down is what i'm picking up so this could be several people you know who are interested in you um so then in that instance the justice card on this whoever side this is would be um whoever you don't choose you know that would be the cause and effect you know that would be their justice they they're not getting chose um or or whoever you are going to choose i mean they just have to realize that there's a possibility that they may not get chose so i feel like If this is someone coming back from the past and you end up choosing someone new then that's going to be their justice you know and then if it's someone new and you end up choosing someone from the past i mean that's going to be their justice too <laughs> it's just going to be cause of an effect I, i feel it's just more so whoever's on this side the justice card with those of you where this is several people who you have several suitors it's just going to be a sense of they know that the the choice is up to you they don't have the final decision like their justice is in your hands essentially that's what that means and you are burdened and plagued with the fact that you have to come to this decision are you going to who are you going to choose are you going to choose the new the old are you going to choose all of them are you going to choose yourself and pick nobody like you have to come to this decision and do what's best for you and then i also was hearing libra so maybe um one or some of the people who you're dealing with have libra um placements in their birth chart okay and because that energy is coming through and it's coming up in the what's blocking them this could be someone who is very indecisive or in the past they made a decision to either be decisive indecisive and 
that chose that that ultimately led to them and you not being together or they've made a wrong decision okay in the past um and that's what's blocking them that they're dealing with the repercussions of either being indecisive or making a wrong decision okay now as far as what action you want to take in this person we have the tower for you um, that is number 16 and the four of wands for the other person or people so what I'm seeing is very strong um, I'm getting Uranus <laughs> Uranus energy here so I just feel like whatever you do, whatever you decide to do, the action that you decide to take is going to be very shocking to a lot of people. Okay, I feel like people are not going to expect whatever this is that you do. Yeah, so I feel like whatever you're going to do is going to shock people. For some of you, this may even shock you. Like what you decide to do, may you may shock yourself, okay, um, is what I'm seeing the tower card let's clarify um, just clarifying the tower card we got the princess of wands and the ace of cups so I just feel like whatever you do you're gonna put your own happiness first and foremost um, But I feel like it's it's kind of it's giving me like Cracker Jacks box prize type of energy. I feel like it's just gonna be different for each of you. But I feel like whatever you do is gonna be very shocking. I feel like what you do is going to be more shocking to other people if more than anything the action that you take. So I, th this may be something that other people are, I'm hearing dismayed, shocked, interesting. As far as your person or per people, um, we have the four of wands here. So I do feel like for some of you all, you may be in a position where you have several offers and options to choose from. Um, with individuals who are either wanting to propose to you um, or just have some type of a very significant like relationship with you um, I'm getting something about public so it's like there could be people who want to make the relationship public like it's like something that people want to make this known for some of you but in any instance I just see commitment here on the table so you could have a lot of different um, individuals who the actions that they're wanting to take towards you is they're wanting to solidify um, that you're theirs for some of you I guess that could be make it public but for others of you yeah I feel like people just want to essentially just take you off the market right and the best outcome if the two of you follow through on the actions to take we have the queen of swords so I see this in several different variations um, playing out with for some of you if you choose to choose yourself this is you just simply cutting out everyone and just you know choosing yourself because maybe you feel that you know these people aren't up to par with your standard the new or the old so you're just choosing to just like wait for others of you I feel if this is an old person you're making this person you, you have like very high demands that this person is going to have to um, fulfill in order to be with you, which is going to um, need to be met. So I feel like you're going to be very strict and very like to the point with letting this person know, very brutally honest, like letting this person know, like, okay, this is what you need to do in order to be with me. And if you can't do that, then it is what it is. Um, I feel like it's just being very stern, not being very flexible with your rules and what you want in the situation. If it's a person who you decide to give another opportunity with from the past. If this is a new person, 
I feel like the outcome is going to be both of you are going to be releasing, cutting ties with and detaching from um, people on both of your sides. So th this is an energy of you all having a fresh, brand new start um, with the two of you. Um, so I feel like it's like a cleaning house energy, whether you're cleaning house and getting rid of everybody, whether this is you putting some heavy um, stipulations on a person from the past to let go and release people. Um, or if this is you and a new person and both of y'all are just like cutting ties with old things that don't serve y'all. So essentially those are all the messages I have for you. Make sure you go ahead and book a private session with me at my website.